Hello and welcome back. Today we're diving into the second set of stencils in the Say It With Style promotion that Close To My Heart are running during the months of September and October. Once again, you receive two pairs of stencils in the pack and this one is for a slimline card and this pair is for a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and these are called the quadrant card front stencils okay so you get both sizes in the one pack and they can create really interesting patterns now i was just playing on some copy paper here and note paper to get a little feel for how they work together to see if there's way you have to do it or whether there's more than one way that you can use them and I'm happy to say that actually you can have a play with this and find different ways to incorporate the two layers um, with different colors okay so I'm going to show you the basics using just two colors for how you can get um, one of these looks and give you some tips for how you can experiment with them okay so just take these out of the way um, I'm going to work on a slim line with the slim line ones today the basic slim line card is three and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches long and you'll notice that the stencils have about a quarter of an inch border all around which is great because it means you can center the stencil on there and then you can add some tape behind that will help to keep the stencil and the paper together as you're adding your color okay you can use blending brushes um, blending tools with the little foam tabs you know the wooden handles with the foam tabs that go on them you can use sponges like I'm using today or you can use finger daubers um, whatever works for you I'm working with some retired colors um, that I've gifted to my daughter um, because I'm not at home so I've got eggplant which is like a deep purple and pomegranate which is a, a deep pink one thing I've done is I took an alcohol marker and labeled stencil one and two when I decided the way I decided which corner to label was that I lay the, the two on top of each other to find a way where none of the shapes overlapped so as an example um, I could have done it this way okay but if I did it this way for example this might not be as pleasing okay so I just fiddled around with it until I found one that where those first two layers were pleasing to my eye okay and I'm going to start with number one because I've trimmed my cardstock down to the size of the slimline card front I'm going to just center the stencil over it and I'm going to come in with the the more purple color the eggplant and for this layer I'm going to apply it fairly thickly okay so this one comes out quite purple but um, it dries lighter than that okay so when, I'm, when you choose to use just two colors, you can put them on in the same intensity because each quadrant of these designs is going to be separated. But what I've chosen, what I like the look of, is that when I, use, when I do stencil one the first time, I'm going to do it darker. And then the, and then the second time I use stencil one, I'm going to use it lighter okay so what I will do is I will just pop that over to the side I'm going to wipe it off with my stamp chamois 
give that a little moment to dry while I bring in stencil number two. And I'm going to make sure when I'm lining this up, that not only is it centered on the cardstock, but I'm running my gaze down this line to make sure that those straight edges are reasonably even and I'll do it somewhere on one of the horizontal ones as well. Now, it doesn't matter if it's not like uber perfect, but I'll get it as close as I can. You'll see that that masking tape stayed attached to my cardstock. Um, and I was able to just quickly add the stencil on. Now I'm going to come in with the pomegranate, which is the more pinky one, and I'm going to do this one dark as well. Okay, so you see there's quite a contrast between those two colours. You can, of course, use four different colours on here. And when you go onto my website, passionateaboutpages.com, and click on the shop link, and then go into promotions look for say it with style and go through and open up some of the workshop bundle links and there are free downloads for card patterns in there and different ways that these stencils have been used there'll also be patterns for the second set of stencils in the promotion which is the stripes and if you missed my previous YouTube video, you can go back and watch that and see what I did with the stripes. All right, so that's two layers. You can totally leave it at this, okay? Don't You don't have to, you know, add anything more. I don't think that's um, too sparse. In fact, I really like <laughs> the look of that one. So that could be your card front just as it is. But if you want to keep layering, um, you can then take, go back to number one and change the orientation of your little marker, okay? So you just have a little experiment. If you turned it around, so you rotated it, you can have a look. And so long as all the uninked slots are by themselves and they're not overlapping pre-inked ones that would work and then you can also see if it would work by flipping it now this wouldn't because they overlap in lots of places but maybe it would work flipping it this way and yes it would so you can just decide and what I found was whatever I do to this number one whether I flip it or rotate it I need to do to number two okay so by flipping it I will get this look so on here my little cheat sheet I said that I had the little dot in the top left and I flipped it to the top right so what about if this time I choose to do that rotation instead of a flip and we'll see what the difference in the pattern is so once again, I'm running my eye down some vertical lines and some horizontal lines. And this time, I'm going to go back to the eggplant, but I'm just going to use it really softly. So I don't want to put a whole lot of extra ink on. In fact, I'm not re-inking this at all at the minute. And I'm just going to come in and add that softer colour. So if we were um, stamping, I would say that this color is second generation. <laughs> but because we're sponging, it's just a lighter color, less ink on the sponge. Now I do need to add a bit more, but I'm going to dab off so that I don't get that really dark look. And oops, and I will just use lighter pressure. I'll have to come in over those for a little bit more. And it's okay if there's a bit of variation as you go down the stencil okay because some of this is going to get covered up and um, you know people are expecting it to to look different it's a pattern okay so you can see the difference between the light and the dark now remember for this number one my little dot and my number were flipped 
uh, sorry, were rotated to be in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to make sure that I do the same with number two. I'm just going to wipe off my stencil first. And I'm going to rotate the number two. And voila! None of the quadrants overlap. <laughs> so whoever the clever bunny was that designed this um, set of stencils, um, obviously knew maths <laughs> to be able to do that. So again, I'm going to come in lighter this time with the pomegranate. And, you know, re-ink my sponge sparingly. If you're using um, blending brushes, I would probably start with the lighter um, look and then make the second pass darker just because with blending brushes um, it's not as easy to get the darker look with one pass whereas with sponges you can put a lot of ink on them and get it dark really easily oh my goodness how gorgeous is this I'm loving it all right just double check Ta-da! And now you see, you get all these cool patterns, like, you know, curves on opposite sides or semicircles or three quarters of a circle. Um, and each time you do it, depending on, you know, rotate or flip, you will get a different look. And also depending on what colors you use and whether you use two colors or four colors or one color, you will get something different. Okay. Now, just before I show you how I turn this into the finished card, I just wanted to show you where to look um, for all your options. So the Say It With Style promotion has a number of stamps. You can buy them stamps alone or stamps with thin cuts that would coordinate. And then this is the played front stencils, the striped ones that I demonstrated in my um, previous video. And this is the quadrant front stencils that I've just demonstrated. You can buy product bundles and then when you scroll down these are the workshop kits and when you tap on a workshop kit it will bring it up with all the contents you will be able to see the cards and the different ways they've used them and if you like the look of them you tap here and you can download the guide which is the free handout okay and then if you're interested in seeing how these exact cards are made Close to my heart have a two-day Facebook um, live event on their website. This is um, American time. So for Australia, it's early than the following day. And they're actually going to do four days in a row where they take one of these card making kits each day and show you how to, um, how to work with it. Let's get back now. I did have my stencil on a slight angle here so I'm going to trim it up with my 12 inch trimmer and I'm just going to take it right close to the edge there. All right that looks a bit better and that then will sit really nicely on there. Um, I think I might come in trying to decide if I want to ink the edges maybe I want to ink the edges of the card base instead and I'm going to come in with the eggplant and just run that around now because I'm working on my all-purpose mat the ink will go onto the mat so I wanted to wipe it off um, before I move the card so that the purple doesn't get on the back of the card. The one thing with using sponges instead of blending brushes is your fingers get a lot messier. <laughs> but I did it. No goop on the back. Okay. We'll add this to the front. And then I have some pre-made decorations that I'm going to put on it. And these are made with another stencil set that's available all year round. 
in our main catalog our essentials catalog oh yeah that looks better with a little frame around it okay so let's bring in what I've got made I've got some flowers and some leaves and a little border and these actually come from this book and uh, let me show you it's this stencil that I've used so you can build flowers using this stencil and that's the border I've used and there's three stencils come in that pack the zoo theme one the more sort of building um, architectural kind of one as well um, so I just stenciled up some and uh, fussy cut them and I'm thinking I thought I would do yellow because it's a really nice contrast to to this one so I'm going to glue this down first and then I'll trim it off even with the like a flower starting and finishing it I think that'll go there and I think I want I'll have a bigger flower at the back and then two smaller ones and I'll tuck a leaf in here and one in here. And then I'm going to finish off with these ones on foam so that they get a little bit of lift to it. That one there. And this one over here. Now I could also go through now if I wanted to and add um, some stickles or some um, little gems something like that I don't actually have anything that will work with these colors to hand so I'm not going to but a fun thing to do is add some little stickles in the center of um, the dots here works really nicely now I'm just going to trim this one off level with the card and there you have it super simple quick and easy so as I said, you can do the, the regular size um, stamps the same using the other set of um, stencils. Hope you enjoyed that. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel and um, let me know if you have any questions.